Oh, a couple of races from Longchamp now then. And are in France. There's two, the first one which is the Group 2 pre Chaudenay, and it's Unilight at the top for Craig Allen. This is just for three rolls this one, so it's almost like a French St. Ledger on. We've lost the card, and we're, we're going to play Jockey Cam as well. So away we go to so a week of fun and games already, then with disappearing horses over in the jumps. And now uh, the pre showed now we've got no card. So it's stunning force in the lead. I'm pretty sure that's a sat yeah, and not a bad Ray Hogan because it's going like the wind. And he's off out into the lead. Uni like for Craig Allen is in second. Then in third place, Rainbow River in the purple and white stripes for Martin Leader is third. Right over on the far side, Josh Wasother's black and red hoops, tick of the clock. Lakeland Highlands for Darren Thompson is the maroon with the white sleeves, then the blue with the white sleeves right over on the far side is Noble Elf for Craig Beckwith, the grey down on this near side is scene of the crime, and I think that's Dan Hughes, then Kakorna Festival is the second grey, that's in the hoops, and that one belongs to David Robertson, and uh, scene of the crime at the back is um, Leon Van Rinsburg, the other grey closest to us is Joyrider, and that's Dan Hughes, so we got them right in the end. I think stunning force in leading for Padraig Hogan, Noble Elf for Craig Beckwith in second. Now we're switching angles. Then Rainbow River for Martin Leadham, Alman Zorba's one we missed. That's for Dan Hughes. Then Unilight for Craig Allen, right over on the far rail. Joy Rider in the blue, that's the grey. That's all Dan Hughes for Corner Festival for David Robertson. Tick of the clock for Joshua Sutherland is closest to us and scene of the crime for Leon is the dark blue and the yellow cap so they're racing down towards the final mile then and stunning force the grey is in the lead noble elf is in second rainbow river is in third then comes al manzor fourth with joy rider after that one then scene of the crime and unilite lightland highlanders after that one then tick of the clock just been relegated to back spot at the moment but they're coming down towards the seven furlong mark and the Jockey on stunning force to the sneaky little look there to see where the rest of them were and two lengths down is Noble Elf about five lengths down on the rail there's Rainbow River and up the centre is Al Manzor they're being followed by Lakeland Highland scene of the crime Joyrider still trying to get into it as well Kakorna Festival hasn't made a move on that one yet either Unilights also trying to move forward but it's still stunning force in the lead with five to go stunning force from Al Manzor in the blue in second gap back to noble elf and lakeland highlands and rainbow river and then joy rider scene of the crime is next to corner festival and unite tick of the clock is still the back marker but it's still stunning force in the lead got the rail got the lead and he's going to get this good turn will make a length or so off our man's or i would think wider still is he's noble elf rainbow river's going up the shortest one on the inside but he's got a lot of ground to make up and it's stunning force who's in the lead past the three stunning force by two and a half lengths to our man's in second noble elf then comes lakeland highlands to corner festival he's trying to get going now as well also tick of the clock but it's still stunning force in the lead two furlongs to go stunning force here comes to corner festival with a good looking run after that one comes tick of the clock and then our man's all but now stunning force is being caught up by corner festival and to corner festival hits the front the corner festival Festival's in the lead from Stunning Force. The Corner Festival starts to pull away inside the final half. Well, the Corner Festival is going to take the pre show now up towards the Corner Festival. Takes it from a fast finishing tick of the clock. But well, tick of the clock's looming, and here comes. Oh, he got up there, Lakeland Highlands. And the commentator makes a gaff again and calls the winner too early because I think Lakeland Highlands has got up and stolen that from the Corner Festival. Who oh, does, you know? Ooh, sack the commentator and Lakeland Highlands for Darren Thompson gets up and takes it from the corner festival for David Robertson second tick of the clock for Joshua Sutherland third Unilot for Craig Allen fourth and Noble Elf for Craig Beckwith was fifth <laughs>